guys welcome or welcome back to the channel it's your terry name make sure you like comment share and subscribe i know you clicked on this video to see how i achieved this bohemian knotless braid style they are so cute so clean so crisp they lay so flat nice and curly really giving vacation vibes so if you want to see exactly how i achieved this look to keep on watching and make sure you subscribe okay let me give you a close-up this is what they are looking like so far. I'm going to go ahead and comb out the hair that I want to leave out for my edges. The rest of the section, I'm going to coat in some shining jam. Fun fact that I just realized this time around doing my hair. Um, I'm able to grip my hair a little bit better when I don't apply tons of jam. So if you have issues with gripping your hair, it may be because you're using too much product. Comb all of that product into my hair and I make sure that it's really in there. We're going to go ahead and section our hair into threes. One, two, three. Boom. And now you're going to plait your hair down twice. And on the third time, you're going to pick up extra hair. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. One. Two. And right here, I'm going to add in my hair. This is about the time. I'm using tiny sections like this because I want small braids. And I use my pointer and my middle finger to then place the hair directly under my index finger. I toss it back and then I just braid it right now. One. Two. Add in more hair. And it's real repetitive. If you know how to braid, this is super easy for you. But I like to make sure all of my tutorials are beginner friendly. You're adding three pieces of hair because you got three sections. Duh. You can go ahead and braid that down. Now I'm going to continue to braid down. And it should have created a seamless braid just like that. And at this point, my arms are killing me. So I just go ahead and I twist my hair so I can braid downwards like this. It's way easier on your arms. Be prepared to work out when doing this hairstyle because it's definitely an exercise. And then I just braid down. I'm going to match it up to where I added hair on my other side. So I did it a little bit further down. I'm going to continue to braid, but I'm about to add in my curly piece of hair. When you are ready to curl, when you are ready to add in your curly piece of hair, especially if you are doing long braids, you want to um make one side of the hair shorter like this. So it can add to the length of the braid. And um, I just put it in between my thumb and my index finger like so. It's super easy to add in the hair. Go ahead and braid it down a couple of times to quote unquote lock it in. So I literally go and fish them out because you don't want to actually braid that hair down because that really defeats the purpose. And as you can see, I got a little piece of my natural hair poking out. I just cover it with shine and jam so we can actually blend in to the braiding hair. And then I just continue to braid. Um, so far, we added three straight pieces of hair. I'm about to add about two to three more depending on the thickness of the braid and the length of the braid. And then I just continue to add it in between my index finger and my thumb and i just braid down y'all i'm so excited i'm doing these to prepare for my trip i was about to tell y'all where i'm going y'all gotta stay tuned for that info <laughs>
you guys so braids are all done i don't know what it is about the side part on the first day but it always hits because the middle part be looking weird in my opinion but i'm about to add some mousse mousse on your scalp after you do your braids just be feeling so stinking good i love how my braids are full but they're not bulky so i found out a way to get rid of that if you have a lot of hair on your head do tiny braids at the bottom i'm gonna show you guys how the sizing of the braid is different in the back like literally i did small sections look at look at how tiny my sections are underneath versus on top that's how you get fullness but it's still flat yes ma'am i take my time when i braid so i don't be having flyways you know how like people in the shop be cutting the braid no my braids are literally perfect like i don't play when it comes to braiding so i left a lot of hair out because i love dramatic edges and i'm going on a trip so like my edges gotta be it, it gotta give swim it gotta give swim I'm still using Edge Booster. My sideburn is like my favorite part when it comes to doing my edges. I don't know why. If you want your braids to last longer, don't leave out so many edges. One thing I will never do ever again in my life is flat out my baby hairs. I don't care. I don't care what all the other girlies are doing. I'm not doing that no more because that messed up my baby hair. So cute. Let me get close so y'all can see what it's together. Something definitely just fell. Period. Don't mind these fucking pimples on my face. My cycle trying to take me out of the game. But anyways, nice and flat, bohemian braid, super cute. Now we gotta handle the ends, okay? And I ain't gonna cap to you. I'm gonna do the ends tomorrow. All right, you guys. So it is the next morning. My braids look so stinking good. What I'm about to do now is fish out all of the braids that don't have any curly pieces because let me do tell you guys that I didn't add curly pieces to each and every one of them because I just didn't want it to be dramatically curly if that makes sense. So I'm about to separate all the curly pieces because I'm about to wrap the braids up around some flexi rods okay and once i have them all separated i'm going to take my flexi rod this is about the size of the flexi rod that i'm using and i'm going to fold it so put a little like hook in the flexi rod take the ends um and you want to you want to resemble this curl at the bottom of your hair just so everything matches so i'm going to try to loop it in a similar fashion if that makes sense like if you have tight curly hair add it into your braids and you want to tightly curl your hair around a flexi rod if you have looser curly hair installed like i do you want to make sure you give some space um in between how you wrap it around a flexi rod now that I have both wrapped up, I'm going to go dip these in some boiling hot water. You want your water to be really, really hot so the curling effect can really happen. And then I'm going to towel dry and I'm going to come back and show you the results. And then make sure you dip like the lower part of your braids too. That just makes everything look so much cleaner and put together. I usually never curl my ends. Oh, this curl is perfect. Do you guys see that? what and then let me go ahead and drop the camera down a little bit so you guys can really see you see how it like mimics the added hair you see how the curl at the bottom mimics the added hair yeah <laughs> oh this just screams vacation this screams vacation and boom just like that you have some bohemian braids Bohemian not list this pimple is crazy. <laughs> this is how they came out. Super neat. Super flat. Super crisp. Super curly. Super long. I'm in love. 
I hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like and make sure you subscribe so you can see my future tutorials. And I want to get into wearing braids a lot, even though it's the fall slash winter. I don't care. Braids are not only for the summertime because I'm really trying to take care of my natural hair. So if you have any styles that you either want to see me in or want to learn how to do for me, then comment them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.